Hi, I'm Mary Leisenring. Did you know the U.S. Census Bureau just conducted the 2020 Census? Mandated by Article 1, Section 2 of the U.S. Constitution, every 10 years the decennial census is conducted. The data collected in the decennial census is used for the purpose of apportioning the number of representatives each state has in the United States House of Representatives. These data are also used for redistricting of state legislative districts. But what is redistricting? What are PL 94171 redistricting data files? What data are in these files? And where can redistricting data be found? In this data gem, I answer all of these questions and will share great resources about redistricting. What is redistricting? Redistricting is the redrawing of electoral district boundaries every 10 years to account for population shifts and growth during the previous decade. The electoral district boundaries could be redrawn for national level government, state level government, and local level government, as well as voting districts such as wards or precincts. What are PL 94171 redistricting data files? Public Law 94171 is a law that directs the Census Bureau to make special preparations to provide redistricting data needed by the 50 states. States are given the opportunity to identify small geographic areas for which specific data tabulations are needed. What is in the PL 94171 redistricting data files? The PL 94171 data were derived from questions asked on the 2020 Census Questionnaire. Let's take a look at the PL 94171 redistricting data file topics you can access. The redistricting products contain summary statistics on population and housing subjects. The six tables that will be available to you are as follows. The P1 table presents the population breakdown by race. Redistricting data is offered for white, black, American Indian and Alaska Native, Asian, Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, and some other race. It is also available for those who select any combination of these six races. The P2 table presents data for Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino by race. The P3 table presents race for the population 18 years and over. The P4 table presents Hispanic or Latino and not Hispanic or Latino by race for the population 18 years and over. The P5 table presents group quarters population by major group quarters type. Group quarters type is broken down into institutionalized and non-institutionalized group quarters. This table includes the total population counts for institutional group quarters, such as correctional facilities for adults, juvenile facilities, nursing facilities, and other institutional facilities, as well as non-institutionalized group quarters, such as college university housing, military quarters, and other non-institutional facilities. The H1 table presents occupancy status. This table includes total housing unit counts, as well as counts of occupied and vacant housing units. Redistricting data are available for these data tables at each of these common geographies you see here. When you combine an available subject from the tables with an available geography, you can see that you could get race data for your county or occupancy data for your voting district, for example. Where can redistricting data be found? To access and download the complete data set for your state that will include all of the subjects and geographies just discussed, go to census.gov and search PL 94-171 redistricting in the search bar. Scroll down until you see 
2020 Census Redistricting Data Summary Files. Be sure to select the 2020 tab if it isn't already selected. And click this link titled Legacy Format Summary Files. Once available in mid-August, this is where the summary files will be. Here is an example of what it looks like for 2010. To find more information on the list of subjects and geographies available, select the link to this technical document. Scroll down to Appendix B to explore definitions of subjects included in these tables. In Appendix A, you can get specific definitions of geographic entities, terms, and concepts. We hope this helps you understand the basics about what redistricting is and the data the Census Bureau provides in Public Law 94-171 data files. For more videos like this, visit census.gov academy. While you're there, click on the subscribe button to join our community so you never miss an opportunity to learn more with us here at Census Academy.